everyone welcome to my channel Cheryl Life at 50 uh, to any new subscribers who've joined my channel to watch this playlist welcome hello and to current subscribers hi welcome back <laughs> um, so I'm discussing three different types of passive income um, and then after this one this is my first one so after this I'll do separate videos on the separate three income streams um, that I'm potentially looking at that I'm working on at the moment. I'm going to start off with the first most easiest I'll go through all three and then from that at least you know if you want to follow this playlist you'll know what it is that I'm going to be doing. So I'll start with the easiest or what I think is the most easy straightforward one and then um, finish with the last which I think is the most long-winded most difficult way the way I'm doing it anyway. First potential passive income stream is coming from KDP. So KDP, this is Kindle Direct Publishing. Um, so before you think, well, publishing books, um, no, I'm not an author or writer. Well, neither am I. And it's it's not how it, how it sounds. Uh, so KDP, you can publish your own books low content books. I've started with notebooks so you can do this for free. So there's the first thing. You can start off completely free. It's free to, to set up the KDP account um, and you can design. There are software programs out there I will do in a different video um, but they are for free. So you literally can create a notebook today, post it on KDP and see if anybody wants to buy it. So that's the first one. The second one, Etsy. <laughs> Etsy, in particular, print on demand. So when you first think of Etsy, and I did, um, I thought that you had to make things, create things yourself at home and you, know, you were selling them so people would either sew things. And I've thought about this in the past because um, I am very creative. I like to create things. I just don't have the time for it. So I always thought, oh, you've, you've got to be able to make something, a product, something, and then sell it. But it's not quite like that. There's a lot more to it. Print on demand is where you don't need any stock whatsoever. So you're basically a designer. Um, and again, you can start for free. Um, so I will talk about that on a separate video. Well, I'll go into it a little bit on here, um, but first I just want to get that general point across of the three that I'm thinking of. I have already started KDP. I've already started Etsy. I've started the shops. I started them um, I've been about eight weeks ago, so I've been at this for eight weeks. So I'm very, very new. So this is a good time for me because I'm learning and as I'm learning, I'm going to be able to share that on videos. And there is there are a lot out there of, of videos. I've done my research. I had to in order to learn how to do what I'm doing. Um, but a lot of them are very clickbaity. So they attract you in. So you're going to um, earn this many thousands in 30 days, you know, <laughs> um, not unless you're a genius. Um, and if you are, please comment below and let me know, <laughs> particularly if you've done it. Um, so it's not quite as straightforward that, but there are uh, videos out there that do tutorials on this, but they um, often miss out some very important things that um, really you should know about and can come as a shock and a bit of a surprise. So as I'm learning, I will post videos about uh, these things. I'll need some catch-ups. So I will, when I do my separate videos on each one, I'll tell you where I'm up to, what I've learned so far, um, and then go on from there. Third one, YouTube. <laughs> um, so I started YouTube ooh, November last year, so November 2022. Um, and I'm currently at 477 subscribers and I've currently got uh, about 2,300 watch hours, I think. It's the most difficult 
particularly with a YouTube channel like mine, which is very generic, you know, it's not niche, it's um, it's about me and my life turning 50, so it covers such a wide variety of things. So it's a very difficult uh, way of earning an income for my type of channel. Doesn't mean it is for everyone else, because there are some out there that are incredibly niche. Um, the finance ones are, are massive and they can become um, huge within you know a couple of months so for me this is going to be the most difficult but i didn't start youtube as a, um, a potential income stream stream in the beginning i did it for me and i'm still doing it for me so the um the way that you earn money on youtube is you do need uh, at least a thousand subscribers and you need four four thousand sorry watch hours that were within the last year so 365 days you've you've got to have 4,000 watch hours and that rolls on every day and in, until you've met it um, I'm a, I am a way off that they have just brought in a sort of a halfway point so you can get 500 subscribers which I'm very close to um, and if you get sorry we've got flies in here I'm at the caravan, just by the way. For anybody who doesn't know me, my current subscribers will know I'm, I'm at the van during season time, but uh, aside that. Um, so the halfway point, you you need 500 subscribers, sorry, and, um, oh now then, how many watch hours is it? 3,000, I believe, 3,000 watch hours. So I'm kind of close to that, or closer. That's allows you some perks so it's you don't get paid for ads that are on your channel at that point uh, but you can receive things like super thanks um, and there are other perks to YouTube as well you, you get sent things from um, companies that want you to review their products which is always very nice like getting a present um, and then uh, there are some other things um, that I haven't quite worked out yet. Uh, you, you get access to, or you can sell your products, you can start selling. If you've got products to sell, you can sell your products. And um, yeah, so that's the three income streams. Obviously the YouTube one, we're kind of doing some updates on that and how it's going, but there's no point doing any income reports on it because that's not going to happen for quite some time. And even when it does, my type of income that would come from YouTube and YouTube ads would be very low because of the type of channel that I have. So going back to KDP, uh, this particular one, um, like I said, I started about eight weeks ago. I have started earning some money from, which is very unexpected. All the research that I did suggested that you you wouldn't earn or earn, have any sales for at least three months. So you have to know when you're getting into that that you've got to be um, a little bit persistent and keep at it. So you've got to be patient and think to yourself, okay, this is long term. And that's what I'm thinking about all of these things. It's, it's a, a long term game. It's not going to earn thousands in 30 days. That's just not true. So the KDP, publishing books, low content books, I started with notebooks and then I learned about colouring books. I am an absolutely fantastic colouriner <laughs> for adults. I love colouring in and I love colouring books. So actually going into colouring books, I really enjoyed. Now I sold a notebook. That was a real shocker when I sold that and that was in the first month of me um, posting some notebooks. They're really so simple to do. And again, I'm going to do a separate video on that for you. Um, so I sold a notebook and then um, I, I was really surprised that my, was it my first, yes it was, my first colouring book is selling. It's not mega books. You don't earn a lot from a colouring book. <laughs> I mean, you sale, uh, if you're going to be competitive, you're looking about seven seven pounds or under for an adult colouring book. Those are the ones I'm doing at the moment, adults, adult colouring book. Um, and in my separate video, when I show you those, do a video on those, I'll show you the actual colouring books I've done 
so far. There's a couple more that I've published that are in review, so I haven't got those yet, so I can't order an author's copy, um, but I do have three with me um, that I can show you. So the colouring books, the very first one is selling. Um, so I've I've sold those two to the UK, two to the US, and um, for each one I make about three pounds to about two pound fifty three pounds. Um, I haven't worked out the the currency rate from the US, um, but it's thereabouts. So I'm quite pleased with that so far. I know it's not. I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> But if you think, you know, I've only got, uh, how many colouring books? I've got four at the moment and one in review. Um, if you think that I'm going to keep doing that one every week and progress to build my colouring books because I'm loving it. It's not like a chore. I'm absolutely loving doing them. I might start to bring in, a, you know, a couple of hundred quid here and there. Nothing wrong with that. Once they're up, they're up. On KDP um, and if somebody wants to buy them they can buy them <laughs> it's quite exciting really when I first sold my, my first colouring book and I started to see that they were it was going to sell I can't tell you how exciting it is it was just such a shock that somebody out there's looked at it and thought I'll buy that nobody's reviewed it yet <laughs> um, which would be nice if I could get someone's opinions on those. Maybe you'll give me your opinion when I, I show you my colouring books in, in uh, one of my next videos. But I'm really pleased. And so that's why that's been my first choice, KDP. Now Etsy. Um, Etsy is, a, is it's easy to set up until you start to look into what you need to do on print on demand it gets quite complicated. Now that doesn't mean it's not worth doing, but it does get complicated. So there's a lot to think about and a lot to do. And I've made some terrible designs that I threw up there in the beginning, just thinking, get as many into your shop as you can. I started with mugs and I'm still doing a lot of mugs. I'm just moving into t-shirts. But um, go when I look back at some of them, I've unpublished them because they were shockingly bad um, but I have since learned a lot which I will share with you and um, I've started to produce what I think are some really nice designs on mugs um, and I'm doing the research that I should have done in the beginning uh, watch lots of videos the, the technical side of it it's very difficult to get your head round with KDP, you know that it's straightforward, that's your cost, that's what you'll get in royalties. With Etsy, there are a lot of fees that you need to take into consideration. So when you first say, for example, uh, publish uh, or put up a mug, you design a mug, um, the mugs have their production price with the print provider so i use a provider called uh, printify and they sync up with etsy so they're sort of linked together so you create your product with printify press publish and it feeds through into your etsy shop so it's not straightforward you have to set up your etsy shop then you have to set up printify and there are other things as well, because if you want other print providers, there are lots of them, you'd have to set up with them as well. With that, Printify have loads of, of providers within Printify uh, that are all the way around the world. So you have to get your head around where are your products going to be um, actually produced. And there's an awful lot, a minefield of information on shipping and uh, the fees, fees from Etsy, uh, the payment transaction fees, processing fees, um, and then the fees from the print company. By the time you've put all together your fees, you don't get a lot of profit left on a mug. So if I sell a mug 
at around about £17, £17-£18 and that is pretty much the average price of, of the mugs. Um, you're going to take home about £2.53. It does really does depend on the type of mug and what you're doing and print providers and all of that. Um, but you've got to be really careful with um, with Etsy and pricing your products. Otherwise, you will get stung and you'll find that you have either no profit or you end up in in uh, making a loss. Um, so that's Etsy. Ken. It's, it's, it's the huge subject area that I can't cover right now. Um, so there's, there's not much else to tell you about YouTube until I get going with my separate videos because it will depend on um, how many subscribers I get this year in total when I'm sort of doing my miles to a point at a year so in November I'm going to do a full uh, video on where I've got to, how I found it, um, problems that I've had. All of that will be in my annual video of YouTube and of course there'll be no earnings to talk about. Etsy, not earned anything yet and I don't expect to because again all of the research and advice suggest that it takes Etsy about three months to find out who you are and to start promoting and there are a lot of hints and tips to Etsy as well uh, so in the beginning I made the mistake of just posting just throwing them up <laughs> a little bit like the notebooks on KDP um, and if you take your time Etsy will look at one product and think what is that and then they'll put it out there and promote it you throw up 10 in an hour and it doesn't know what to do with all of those so you've got to take it really slow with Etsy so again it's not something that you can earn a lot of money from very quickly my channel is about turning 50 which was a big milestone for me and all of what goes with that is thinking about how everything's changed and everything is going to change and you know not just it's not just about weight loss health um dieting fashion <laughs> changing in my wardrobe and what i'm doing with my life it's about thinking about the future. You never know what's around that corner. You never know. I mean, I've got a great job and I love my job and I'm very good at it and I'm well paid, um, but you never know what's around the corner. And so having a little backup or even just something on the side that, you know, in 10, 15 years when um, yeah, it's going to be 15 to 20 years before I retire, um, but knowing that if I do keep this up and if I do build on it now, I will have something in the future. And I quite like that idea because I am patient. I don't need everything right now. And I do know that if you work hard early on and you stick to something, early efforts do pay off long term. So if you want to stick with me, and I, I hope you do, to follow my progress. And obviously the other two, the two main videos that are coming up are going to be KDP and Etsy and where I'm up to to date after the first eight weeks. Um, I'd love for you to come back and watch those. Please like and subscribe and you'll be helping my third um, choice, which is YouTube. Long way down the road um but please like and subscribe join me and um, keep on board you don't have to watch my other videos if you don't want to you can just follow this playlist it will be separate thank you so much and i will see you on the next one which is kdp thank you bye